my gorgeous Capricorns, this is Debs and this is your TGIF for Friday the 20th of September 2024. Cappy, it's lovely to be with you. I hope you guys are well. I hope you had an amazing week. Let's um, jump in and find out how your person's feeling about you. The deck that I'm using is the Marchetti deck. If you'd like a private reading, my website's down below. If you'd like to join the channel, the link is there too. And of course, all the decks. I'm hearing coming up for air, coming up for air. You may have been holding your breath. You may have been feeling happy as if you were sort of underwater. Oh, wow. I'm hearing drowning in emotion. Oh, gosh. OK, guys. Well, um, let's see what comes through. You're either in love or you've just suffered heartbreak, Cappy. Oh, my throat's just closed up. Weird. Arnold's in the corner and he's motioning to his neck. Okay. He doesn't have a necktie on. He's looking at me over his bifocals. He's almost wanting me to understand what he's saying. He's wearing an open shirt. He's got no necktie. Capricorn, you may have felt constricted. You may have had the courage to say something. And now you feel as if you're coming up for air. I've got it off my chest. Okay. Wow. All right. Capricorn. Uh, Knight of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, King of Cups. Capricorn, did you get angry with someone because you felt that they were working on a situation with a water sign king? Or are you angry with someone, Capricorn, who is a Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio because they're always working? Or because you felt this person was pushing down their emotion all about the money? You could be a masculine or a feminine. Hmm. Okay, yeah. So, guys, we have, they came out, the three of them, so they were relevant for this reading, for one or two of you, maybe. Maybe not for all of you. Uh, Knight of Swords. Okay, so this is usually someone rushing in, feeling a bit cross, wanting answers, wanting clarity about money or about working on a situation. And we have a King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Putting those to one side for now, that's what Archangel Michael's telling me. Okay. The sun. Enlightenment. About something at a distance. Capricorn. Leo energy. The star. Enlightenment that at a distance, something has been healed. Or Capricorn, are you feeling that a Leo or an Aquarian would make you very happy? The Chariot. Cancerian energy, three major arcana in a row. Wow. The Emperor. Holy moly. The Ace of Coins. Capricorn, you're taking the bull by the horns here because you're coming through as an emperor. It can denote someone married, but not necessarily. If you were married, and it's interesting I said were, if you were married, you're separating from a partner and you may be relocating with the chariot and the ace of coins uprooting and moving. You could be changing your life, Capricorn. If you're a feminine Capricorn, you become enlightened about a Leo or an Aquarian, and you may be with an emperor who was leaving you, separating from you, relocating to develop a relationship with another woman. And it may have been an emotional time. You could have just separated from this emperor. We will see, guys. There's a lot of heavy energy here. A lot of major arcana. King of Swords. Legalities. 
relating to the Ten of Pentacles. Temperance. Sagittarian energy. Seven of Pentacles, looking at past mistakes. Capricorn, what you're looking at is falling into a situation which you regretted, male or female. If you were dating this emperor, you may have realised that he has patched up a long-term marriage with a partner and he may be leaving the area to make that happen. If Capricorn, you are married and you're sitting in the energy of the emperor yourself, you may be deciding to leave a situation and separate from your partner and you may be seeking legal advice about a lot of money and you may be thinking about a mistake that was made in the past where you may have just sat and coasted. I was such an idiot, I sat and coasted with this and I've wasted time. There may have been issues with a Leo, an Aquarian, a Cancer, a Sag, an Aries or an Air sign. I'm reading the energies very carefully because we've got a lot of major cards on the table. This is big energy. Which means it could mean several things. With the Knight of Cups, Capricorn, you're moving towards someone with emotional communication. And that emotional communication may take the form of you apologising for sabotaging a relationship. What you're saying to this person, Capricorn, is I do love you. Another situation has ended at a distance. Either with an Aries or I want to take a leap of faith and a risk with you. This feels very complicated. Someone here was definitely married and is separated from a partner and is thinking of relocating to build on another situation. There's a lot of love between two people who may have been held apart due to distance. Someone was hanging on to a lot of money. Someone was afraid that the other person was going to heal a long-term relationship and not leave, but someone is deciding to leave. This might have been a very challenging cycle, a lot of emotion, maybe secrets that were kept hidden, and two people who I think were just dancing around each other trying to decide what to do about this. Underneath the deck, Capricorn, eight of wands, fast communication, about leaving. So Capricorn, one of you here is communicating that they are definitely leaving. They're going to have to juggle money with the two of pentacles. This is someone who is saying to you, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. I was sat on the fence for too long. With the energy of justice, I am deciding to take legal action because I want a new passionate start with you because I love you. Okay, four of wands. A living together situation is on the horizon. So Cappy, this is looking really positive. 10 of cups under that. There's a lot of love between you and this person. Underneath that, we have the wheel of fortune. A fortunate turn of events pushing you both into the Ten of Cups, Four of Swords. There's going to be healing in this relationship. We have the High Priestess, Pisces Cancerian Energy, and the Three of Cups, secretively manifesting reunion and healing. Cappy, it's going to happen. It's going to happen, guys. And I think there's going to be a lot of happiness in the future. But someone here may have kept a secret. They may have sat on the fence for the longest time. 
And I think what they're realising they want to do is to actually now make a move. It's as if I've been procrastinating for way too long. Um, someone may have felt they were missing an opportunity and they're now going for it is what I'm getting. Hmm. All right, guys. So let's move into messages from the angels. I want to see what comes through. I'm using the traditional deck for this one because this feels a bigger energy. It could be lots of different situations all tied up together. I feel this is incredibly complicated, this situation. And so these cards are slightly broader and less specific than the Lightworker cards for this reading. So Archangel Michael, what are the angels want to relay to my Capricorns? Thank you, Michael. Choose a new direction. Yeah. Capricorn, you, I think, have been sat at crossroads for the longest time. Not quite sure what to do. You're now deciding to choose a new direction within the next few months. So you may be moving, relocating, leaving a situation or moving to be with someone in the next few months. Wow. Wow. There will be helpful people around you, Cappy, which is really good news. Lovely. People will be supporting you. If you believe, I'm hearing, if you believe in miracles, you may feel you're not going to achieve what you want to achieve. You may feel, oh, it'd be a miracle if this actually worked out. But people around you, I think, are saying, Capricorn, go for it. Go for it. If this is what you want, if this feels right for you, just go for it. Yeah. You may need to compromise. So, Cappy, you may need to be flexible. Keep that in mind. You may need to see somebody else's perspective or point of view or lifestyle, you know. And there will be a peaceful resolution. So, Cappy, if you're willing to bend a little bit, be flexible. I think the divine is saying if you're wanting to mend a situation with someone, then it's possible. You may want to travel to see them or you may even be thinking of relocating to make it work with them. All right, guys. Trust and have faith in the divine's plan, Capricorn. I think you're heading in the right direction. I think you know this feels right for you. With a high priestess, you're using your intuition, that you can heal the situation. It is a little bit of a risk that you're taking. You may be relocating to make this relationship work, but for you, it's worth it because this is exactly what you want. It's what I'm getting. But you may have been sat on the fence for the longest time trying to decide whether or not you were going to do this. I think the divine is giving you a nudge, Cappy. If you don't take action soon, this opportunity isn't going to be available for much longer. So, Cappy, let's move into messages. I want to find out what your person, who could be anyone in the mix here, I want to find out what they'd want to say to you. It may clarify what we're dealing with, a little bit more clarity, maybe. Archangel Michael, what would Capricorn's person want to say to Capricorn? Thank you. Okay, your person wants to say to you, I didn't mean what I said. So your person, Capricorn, wants to apologise to you for something they said. Oh, okay. Okay. Wow, twin flame. Your person believes, Capricorn, that you are their true divine twin. What else is your person saying to you, Caps? I wish I could take it back. Oh, this person said something and for you it may have been, that's it. I'm leaving, I'm going, I'm not interested. What else does this person want to say? I pulled away because I'm overwhelmed with all the things going on in my life. Okay, 
very, very busy. This person is incredibly busy. They may have been involved with somebody else and they couldn't make up their mind, Cappy. Or they may have said something flippant, which was very hurtful, that you took offence to and you detached. So this person is saying to you, I didn't mean what I said. And it may have even been a conversation about the twin flame journey or the twin flame connection. I wish I could take it back. I pulled away because I just had so much going on in my life. Capricorn, this is someone apologising to you. And I think, Capricorn, you're deciding to go and see this person, maybe to see whether or not you can get a relationship back on track. Okay. So, my lovely Capricorns, let's move into the second reading. Let's have a look and see what the next few months are going to bring. I'll see you there. Okay, Capricorn, let's begin. This is the Tarot de la Nuit, and let's find out what may be happening for you over the next few months. Archangel Michael, what do we have, please, for my lovely Capricorns in the situation? Energies now through until the spring of 2025. Let's do that, Cappy, right? Let's see what's going to be happening. Let's see. All right, here we go. The Six of Swords. Cappy, you are moving to calmer waters with someone or you could actually be undertaking a journey. The Eight of Wands. You're communicating with someone about this. Very exciting. The Two of Pentacles. Okay. <laughs> Capricorn, you may be saying to someone, I'm so sorry, I spent ages trying to make up my mind if I wanted to do this. I know I've been sitting on the fence, do forgive me. You may be saying to someone, I'm doing this, I'm moving to your area, I've given up my job, I want to be with you, but I don't have a lot of money, bless you. The Eight of Swords. Yeah, you're saying to someone, basically, you're so sorry you sat on the fence, something like that. I was in my head trying to make a decision. Do forgive me, but I've decided to do this now. You may be communicating with a Sagittarian with judgment or Capricorn. What you're saying to this person is I've made a decision to do this. I'm not changing my mind. This is my decision. It's final. Four of Swords. You may feel, Capricorn, you've wasted time. But with a Death card, Capricorn, Scorpio energy, there's going to be major change and transformation. King of Pentacles. You could be sat in your masculine energy, Capricorn, or I could be connecting with a male. King of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, wow. Cappy, you are going for the person that you love. I think this has been a long distance connection. One of you may have been held in another relationship. That person is now walking away, you or them. This has been a long time coming. But it's happening. <laughs> it is happening now. Page of Cups. Again, I'm sorry I took my time. Six of Cups. I'm so glad we're back together again. I was sitting thinking about the past. Three of Cups. This is reunion. <laughs> the King of Swords. There's going to be a lot of truths that come out. Someone here may be seeking legal advice to officially end a relationship. Yes, we have the world. Wow. Yeah. So Capricorn, in basic terms, we have someone here ending a long term commitment in order to commit to someone who I think has been wondering whether or not they should continue this connection. 
This could have been an ongoing third party situation or two people met, one person was held in say a marriage. There might have been distance involved as well. It was a really difficult, emotionally stressful. I think the person who was in a long term commitment is saying, I'm going to get divorced because I want to be with you. And the other person, the single person is saying, OK, if you're willing to do that, I'm willing to relocate, change my life to live with you. Basically, Cappy, two people are both sacrificing to bring this relationship together. It's really lovely. If you agree to divorce your person, I will leave my job and I will relocate to live in your area, which is a big deal, right? This is lovely. Yeah. Okay. Underneath the deck, we have the Four of Wands. Gorgeous. Two people are going to be moving in together. The Fool. Someone's breaking free. Aries energy. The Star. Aquarian energy. So a relationship can be here. The Three of Wands. I think these two are looking at building a brand new life together. And this has been a long time coming. The Ace of Pentacles, someone here is deciding to relocate, could be you, could be them, because they're in love. <laughs> These two are in love. And I think with a page of Pentacles, this is someone apologising to the other person, turning up with a gift. Ten of Cups, you are my Ten of Cups. I want to be with you. Oh, Capricorn, this is a lovely reading. This is going to be very emotional for someone out there. So guys, with that said, let's move into messages from the universe. Archangel Michael, what do we have please for my lovely Cappies? Keys on trees, interesting. Capricorn, I get a feeling that someone was locked in a relationship here and the other person was far away. It was almost as if this is impossible. We're never gonna make this work, right? One person's, say, married, and we're thousands of kilometres away, something like that. No, these two people are making it work. They found a way to do this. They found the courage to do this. Yeah, this might have taken a long time, a lot of effort, a lot of emotional conversations, right? Yeah. But both of these two listened to their intuition, realizing that they just wanted to be together. Yeah, so Cappy, I think you and this person have arranged to sort of do what it took to make this happen. Mm. <laughs> like a bird. Oh. So there may have been a lot of conversations about, you know, do we do this? Don't we? Do we let it go? How do you feel? That sort of thing. It might have been a very delicate situation, Cappy. White Rose of Hope. Change is coming or you guys have already decided to make this work. And both of you have hope for the future. Beautiful. Capricorn. Miss Sunshine. <laughs> so, I don't know, uh, the two of you could be deciding to relocate to a country where there's warm weather. There's just going to be a lot of happiness. Oh, wow, Capricorn, what a reading. So, guys, as always, we're going to ask Archangel Michael for his closing message of guidance. Archangel Michael, what would you want to relay to my lovely Capricorns in the situation? Beautiful reading, guys. Keep your eyes on your targeted intention, Capricorn. And the prayer reads, Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me focus on my inner vision and intention. I ask for your guidance in releasing any fears or doubts, granting me the confidence and courage to take action towards realising my dreams. Capricorn, keep your eyes on your targeted intention, I think you two are going to build a beautiful new life. So I'm leaving the reading there. I hope you've enjoyed it. Do let me know in the comments if this is your story. Have a lovely weekend and I'll be back before you know it with your next set of readings. See you soon, guys. Bye now.